Good morning and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for another walk around video. Before we get started, if you are enjoying our content, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video. And if you did have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. This here is an Agar Black Ford Torneo Titanium L2 Automatic 9-seater. This is a very, very rare vehicle indeed. We don't get many of these through Perkins. So if you are in the market for a long wall base automatic titanium Torneo, please get in touch. So this features the 2 litre Eco Blue engine producing 185 PS of power. That 185 PS of power is then transmitted through the front wheels using a 7 speed automatic gearbox. We are registered on a 70 registration, so that means we'll take forward warranty with us until September 2023. The vehicle itself is very low mileage, it's only done just over 6,000 miles, but like always, we'll get you the exact number once we're on the dash in a moment. So, sit tight and let me take you around this lovely titanium Tourneo. So like always, we're going to wake up the daytime running lights using the remote central locking, and this is where I disclaim in the video that you might get a little bit of flashing on the, uh, the daytime running lamps because the frequency in which I record my camera records at. So let me assure you, they're not flashing. They look lovely. So those are the daytime running lights. And inside there, you have the LED headlights also. Below the headlights, we also have front parking sensors and front fog lights. And they trail all the way along the parking sensors, trail along the front bumper. That there is a front facing radar, and that's gonna be responsible for some of the driver assistance pack. We'll cover that more once we're inside the vehicle in a second. Coming round now to the offside bumper. Before we do the wheel, we can look up slightly. So in there is a sensor for the automated lights. When it gets dark, the lights come on. Up there, we also have another couple of sensors for one for the automated uh, wipers. And we also have one there as well, I believe for the headlights. Don't quote me on that. Coming back down to earth now, we can look at these gorgeous silver alloy wheels. These are 17 inches in diameter and they are fitted with Michelin tires as standard. Coming around the body of the vehicle now, this vehicle, as I previously mentioned, has the driver assistance pack. That includes things such as blind spot assist. So in both wing mirrors, they have a little, uh, little icon with two vehicles in it that illuminate orange if someone was in your blind spot on the near side or the off side. This vehicle has got rear privacy glass, so it's a real one tone effect there. So you've got some glorious agar black body work. That is twinned lovely with a rear privacy glass. So coming down the vehicle now, we're going to give you a little uh, assessment of the body before going inside the vehicle. So let's do the offside first. We're going to start nice and high, and we're going to make our way down the vehicle, hopefully giving you some lovely angles. This one looks like a pane of glass, to be honest with you. Look how amazing that looks. And then we'll link it round to the offside wheel, giving you a good look at that. Beautiful. Again, we have front and we also have rear parking sensors as well. So they trail on that bottom lip of the bumper, like you can see there. Again, we'll have a look inside the boot in just a minute. Let's do the near side as well. So we'll give it the exact same treatment. So we start nice and high up. A bit shadier this side, unfortunately. But you can just see how lovely all those panels are on the near side. And we'll link that round to the near side rear wheel. And we'll follow it all the way to the near side front. Beautiful. So, I often get asked after saying it's an eco blue engine. Dan, what does an eco blue engine mean? Well, it's a two litre diesel. So diesel goes in there like normal. And that is Ad Blue. So you can purchase Ad Blue from any petrol station. And that is a solution. They get sprayed onto the exhaust gases, making it a nice clean burn. What that means is this vehicle is a Euro 6D compliant, meaning you can pretty much drive this anywhere because it's nice and clean exhaust gases for the birds, the bees and the trees. So the long wheelbase vehicle comes into its own in the rear luggage compartment. So if you saw my video yesterday with a short wheelbase vehicle, I said it's uh, a subway's length from the rear air conditioning blower motor to the rear seats. So you can see just how much space that gives you there. So I described the short wall bases as you could happily get two baby giraffes in there, sitting there quite happily. I reckon we can now get two baby elephants, so a bit bigger. So you've got masses of space there. You could probably get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine large suitcases, I think, 
maybe even more actually because you can probably get to anyway you can stack them however you want but it's a massive volume of space in the rear here so i'm previously mentioned this cover here under there if i just pull this off is a rear blower motor that supplies nice cool air or rear air conditioning to the rear six rear seats we'll have a look at that in a second so i'm just going to mention before i go away from the the boot oh, is a full size spare wheel underneath the driver's seat is also all the relevant tools and jacks you might need to keep the vehicle going in the right direction so we'll just get up the tailgate so i'm guessing the reason you're looking at this video is because you need a nine seat vehicle ah, so let me give you six seats in the rear and we've got this gorgeous gray leather in this one as well so um, the Tornio Sports come with a half cloth, half leather interior. This titanium is a pure leather all the way through. So you've got the darker uh, charcoal section around there with a lighter grey on the base of the seat and the back, obviously. Um, but it's a real nice two-tone effect of the leather there. So these seats are quite special on the Tornio, and let me explain for why. So each seat in the rear is individual. So let me demonstrate. We can use this handle here. That pulls down the front. And we're looking at the second lever here, which then pulls up this whole seat unit. From there, we can use this lever here, and this whole seat unit can then be removed from the vehicle. So bearing in mind, if you only need two seats and you need the rest for storage, you can take all these seats out and you have a long wheelbase transit van fundamentally. If you needed four seats, you're going skiing, you need some long skis down here, or even a couple of bikes maybe, and the world is your oyster. That's why these Tornios have been so, so popular, because of the versatility. They're very, very versatile. In addition to that, let me just pop this one back up. I'm sorry, it's an elbow job, so it kind of demonstrates how easy it is to do. So this row here can be rotated 180 degrees. So that seat on the right hand, or left hand side of the vehicle will then become the right hand facing forward. So if you think this setup conference, they call it, is going to create too many arguments, spin this round, and you've got two banks of three facing forward. So there's a lot of comfort for the rear passengers. So we've got six seats in the rear, and we're going to give you six USBs. So two there, two down here, and two at the back of the handbrake. So six USBs for six passengers. Each window has a sun blind or a tractable sun blind, so you can pull it up and down at your convenience. We have two sliding doors so we can gain entry from the roadside or the curbside, whichever is safer to do so. Especially ideal if you're traveling into Europe and they're driving on the other side of the road, then it's a lot safer. We also have a rear speaker system in the roof there and rear air conditioning and lights. So you've got all your vents in the ceiling there as well and all of your air conditioning controls are just found there. So that's a bit about the rear of the Tornier. Any more information you might need, please do give us a call. But um, they're very versatile and they're a pleasure to record. Anywho, so that's the rear of the Tornier. So, nine seats. So that must mean we have three more in the front there. So let me just show you the door card first. Two electric windows, mirror controls, interior locking just next to the door handle. A fantastically designed door card. It's perfect. Lunchbox, big drinks bottle, your change, your wallet, your phone drinks coffees you know you've got place to store things on longer journeys and i'm a big fan of that if we turn around now let's have a look at the driver's seat well before i do that let's just pop this cover off tools and jacks you need to change your spare wheel on the road let's just get that cover on lovely there we can look at the driver's seat so again we have that lovely two-tone leather and this i the two end seats are heated seats and they are also, well, the driver's seat is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 way adjustable driver's seat. So you're always going to get yourself comfy in there. And just look at the condition of the leather as well. So it's like new, this leather. Really is in fantastic condition. I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle. You're going to hear a bit of distortion on the microphone whilst I get in. So please just bear with me for a second. So being an automatic vehicle, foot on the brake, turn the key, and it gives you power to the vehicle. Wonderful, let me just redirect the air conditioning, otherwise you might just hear that. Okay, so let's first break down what we're looking at in front of us on the driver display. Left hand side is a conventional RPM gauge, and the right hand side is a speedo. 
At the bottom menus, we have a coolant temperature sensor and a fuel gauge. Being an automatic vehicle, we also get a gear selector indicator as well. If we look to the top, we have a digital driver display. We control that digital driver display using the arrows, menu button and OK button on the right hand side of the steering wheel. So if I just zoom in quickly, so the exact mileage on the vehicle is 6,357 miles. Yes, it is also very warm this morning. Not even 10 o'clock, we're up to 29. So uh, additionally on that, so we've got the home screen. We can go through to different trip computers. We've got my view. So my view, you can set it up to be digital speedometer, fuel economy, trip computer, eco coach, anything you like on there really. And this one here, we'll gone past it, is the driver assistance. So I mentioned this outside. So we have blind spot assist in both wing mirrors, pre-collision assist, we have a lane keeping system, driver alert, cross traffic alert, cruise control. So tons and tons of driver assistance software on board, keeping you nice and safe. But the, uh, the front facing radar I mentioned earlier, is for pre-collision assist. So that will lessen the severity or completely avoid the impact altogether. So it's a system you only, might only have to use once, but then it'll be completely worth its money. So, fantastic safety systems on board this Tornio. If I was to zoom out slightly, again, again, the right hand side, which is controlling that screen. On there, we also have a voice command, a pickup, a decline, and previous and next song button on that cluster also. The left hand side, we have adaptive cruise control. So, for being a Tornio, the type of vehicle that you might do quite a few miles on the motorway, it's uh, essential to have cruise control. Not only is it very good for your MPG, but it's very convenient to use as well. Once you get in the swing of using it, it becomes second nature. So a quick tour around the buttons, one to take it off a standby. We have this one to control the distance to the vehicle in front of us. We have a cancel, we have a speed limiter, and we have the speed set plus and minus in the middle. At the bottom of that, we have a volume down, volume up, and a mute button. So now we can start going across slightly. We have three buttons on the console there. We have one for traction control. We also have a mode button. When you put, press the mode button, that also gives you an eco drive mode to make it a more economical drive when you're on. So basically it will change through the gearbox a bit earlier, saving you a bit of fuel. Apart from that, we also have the parking sensors override off button. I'll show you the seven speed automatic gear selector with the semi-automatic function on the side of it as well. So you can go down to manual and control the gears manually. So there might be a situation at some point throughout the year when you need to control the gears, whether it's hills, whether it's icy conditions, it's always good to have the control of the gearbox if you shall need it. Okay, so this here is the SYNC 3.4 module. We can tell it's the updated one. You've got the dark blue software at the bottom. We have audio, phone, mobile apps, and settings. So if you go into audio, we have all your regular sources. Let me change hands, you don't have to see my arm there. Uh, so we have AM, FM, DAB, and Bluetooth audio. Coming out of there, we also have your Bluetooth phone connectivity just there. And don't forget, this screen fully supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you have a smartphone with some smart software on it, I've taken photographs of uh, the Apple CarPlay in action. So unfortunately, we don't have forward navigation as standard. But if you have a smartphone, you can use your smartphone for Apple CarPlay. Then that will give you Apple Maps, uh, Google Maps, Waze, whichever is your preference. So you can still get navigation on this screen, not a problem. Personally, I use Apple Maps very often, as well as my forward ads. But Apple Maps are brilliant, they never let me down. So please refer to the photographs of me showing you the other three map uh, applications you can have on this screen. So don't think you're left without navigation because um, you got it, you've got it on your computer in your pocket instead. So that's a bit about the screen and also when you put it into reverse, the parking sensors front and rear come up as well. So it's a nice convenient park pilot system. Okay, so just below it we have all of your heating, ventilation and air conditioning controls. So let me just get the gear selector out of the way. Um, so we have fan speed to left hand side, we have temperature to the right hand side. The bottom menu we have different heated front seats, that's a three way adjustable level, electronically heated screen, air conditioning, recirculation, different flows of vents, uh, on off and rear demist. So a lovely air conditioning system as well, so we can turn that off from there. And before I go, let me just show you the other two beautiful seats in the front of this vehicle. So again the two tone leather. Real nice comfort, convenience, and padded. And obviously, they're nice and white clean too. If you didn't have a third person in the front, 
We also have some sort of document holder, cup holder system going on there as well. So you can utilize the space in whatever way you seem fit. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you are in the market for a long wheelbase automatic Torneo Titanium, get in touch ASAP. And the number you need is 01376 550 899. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.